Hi there everybody, it's Housie from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator and I have a lovely task to do today. I am making thank you cards. The reason why? I have been running a promotion on my blog that if anyone places an order between sort of the start of November and it's still running, you get a Christmas present from me. It could be anything, but it's kit related. So there's stamp sets, there's paper, there's inks, there's diamantes. I think there's a die set in there. There's, there's all different stuff that I've accumulated over the year and I've saved in a box and wrapped up. So when you place an order, you get something free come out to you as a thank you for me. And it's wrapped all Christmassy to go under your Christmas tree. And it's been quite a popular um, promotion. I didn't realise how popular it would be, but it has been. And the majority of people seem to have bought Stamparatuses, which has been great because it's a great tool. So I thought I'd send them a thank you card. And I love this one because it demonstrates exactly how to use a Stamparatus with a wreath style card. And I thought if I send them the thank you card and put in a link to this video, people will be able to see what they can do with their new Stamparatus. So I'm going to show you how to make it and how to get this effect just here. I'm using the A Big Thank You set because obviously I owe these people a big thank you. I'm using this flower here, this flower to fill it in, the thanks in the middle, and then around the side I'm using the leaf, which is a gorgeous sort of surrogated leaf. You can see it on the card. And that's quite nice because it just gives it kind of a shading effect with lemon lime twist and our whisper wipe. So let's get started. Firstly, just a quick one. Have you seen our new Stamparatus bag? It doesn't really fit in the shot of the camera, but it's the size of the Stamparatus, and you open it up, and it opens all the way round, like that, so you can open it fully, like a leaf. It's got these cute little handles here if you want to handhold it, but it's also got an over-the-shoulder one, and this goes from here to here, so it balances properly, and then you've also got another little fold, um, pocket in here. So I'm keeping my Stamparatus in the back there. But what I'm keeping on the other side, let me just turn it around so I can show you, is all of my spare Stamparatus plates. So I've got them there. And I've got some of them with my layouts already on. And they just sit in there. So that's my new little bag. And that is on sale to you this week. I think it came out Monday. I want to say it came out Monday. But there we go. It's on sale now if you wanted it. Right, so for my Stamper Artist, I've put, this is a photopolymer set. So I've put in my silicone mat. If you wanted to, you can purchase from my website a second foam mat, which just lifts it up. Um, save using silicone mat, but my silicone mat works just as well, so I'm using that. Now what I've done is I've cut a piece of paper, seven and a quarter inches by seven and a quarter inches, so it just fits the mat. Okay, ignore this, I'll explain this to you, but that's what you want to do. I then took some pieces of scrap paper, so I have these lying on the side of my desk, and I've cut them down. These were four inches by four inches, they're just notepads that I had from my old job. Um, I've cut them down to three and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches, and I have cut a piece of white cardstock that is the same size, so it will fit over the top of them. Can you see where we're going with this? And then I have just stuck that to the middle of the paper so you can't get it off, so there's no movability. And I'm just going to put the magnets down. Now if you've watched me on my Stamparatus tutorials before, you will know I'm a naughty girl. I keep telling everybody to put washi tape around their magnets because they are strong and if they stick together they will snap and break, so the washi tape just takes away a bit of the strength. I didn't listen to myself and my magnets stuck together and they snapped and they are really strong so when you get them wrap them in washi tape I've got some new ones on order and that'll be the first thing I do so what you want to do is you want to get your stamp now as I said I'm using this sort of spiral flower it's a bit like a spirograph pop it on now you want to set it in the middle here so let me see if I've just got a piece of paper. So there exactly is the line across. So you want to make sure it reaches that line but doesn't go any further and you want to make sure it's in the middle of the point. Okay? Kind of like that. 
shut your window, pull it up, it doesn't matter because you know exactly where this was sitting because it was sitting in the corner. Close your stamp case and pop it underneath so it allows this to rest flat. I'm just going to use Memento ink to ink that up. Putting the cardstock in will help, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I make silly mistakes. There we go. So I'm just going to pop my, my other half of a magnet in the middle. And stamp it down. It doesn't matter that that hasn't took totally because I'm just going to come back and do it again. Okay. Round to the other side. So match it up on the points again. And go again. And twist to the next point. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just playing this round in a circle. Once you've got the hang of it, it is so easy. The bit that actually takes the time, I found, was making the background stencil. But now you have it, you can use it for any sort of stamps that's an inch by an inch. Um, it will fit those stamps. So there's so many of them in all the different stamp sets and we've got so many different flower stamp sets and floral statements that you could do some wonderful ones with those. And so long as the flower or the animal or you know whatever you're using to create your wreath card is an inch by an inch, it should fit in fine for this. Just keep going around. I'm sorry, this bit is a bit time consuming. What I should have done was had one that was half done and showed you how to do half and then said, oh, and here's the, the finished project. You know, a bit like Blue Peter, but I didn't think about doing that. So you're gonna have to watch me go all the way around and I apologize for the time it's taking. Do, 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 one more. I'm loving magnets in my crafts now. I have just bought a magnetic platform for my Big Shot. I didn't realise I needed one. I do. It's amazing. I love it. So that's the Big Shot work finished. Sorry, not the Big Shot. The Stamper Artist. Honestly, if I get one thing on my mind, that's all I think of. So then I'm just using the infill stamp, which is this one here, and lovely lipstick. Now lovely lipstick is really bright, so I've just got a piece of scrap here from my pad. And I'm just going to stamp off before I stamp onto here, and I apologise now because you are probably going to see my head a couple of times because I want to get it lined up as best as possible. That wasn't as best as possible, was it? I don't think it matters. If you get one that's not lined up and then you don't line the others up, I think it looks like it's an effect, is what I'm going to tell myself. I think there is. There we go. Oh, stamp it off. I'm the worst person at that, remembering to re-stamp off. I was doing a lovely card the other day using the Hello Gorgeous set and I was stamping off with that and then on the last but one flower I forgot to stamp off and I kept telling myself it didn't matter but the more and more I looked at it, especially with my OCD on things, the more I could tell it was a different colour and I was unhappy with it. I was really annoyed with myself because I'd let myself get all the way to the end for that to happen. Right. Lemon Lime Twist and all I'm doing with this is I'm putting two leaves on, oh, I got my finger in it, that's messy. I'm going to continue just so you can see how it's made but obviously someone won't be getting this card because it's, uh, it's messy. 
or I'll think of something to pop over the top of that. But all you want to do is put two leaves on each flower. not very happy that I've messed this card up for you. I mean, I thought that was messy enough, but now I've gone and done that. It's terrible because I'm the sort of person that when I see something that's not right, I want to stop. I don't want to continue playing with it. But at the same time, I don't really want to shoot this video again. Okay. My mementos got lost. I put it under the scrap paper. I am not doing well. So all I'm going to do now is just take the thanks and stamp it in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to take Fast Fuse, but we don't sell that anymore, so you could probably take liquid glue or you could take sticky strip, um, or perhaps snail, but I'm using Fast Fuse because it's quicker for me when I'm making a few, and I've still got quite a bit of it left, because I ordered all of the last bits. It went on the clearance rack, and oh my gosh, I ordered so much, because I love it. So. Lemon and Lime Twist A4 paper, cut in half, scored in half, and that creates your tent roll card. Then I'm just sticking a plain piece of Whisper White onto the base. Now this piece of Whisper White is four inches wide by 14 and a half centimetres, which sounds so silly, but that's how I cut it, so I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> so it's five and five eighths of an inch, or 14 and a half centimetres, and 10.2 centimetres or four inches. <sighs> I don't always work in the same conversions. I'm not very good with that. I cut where it needs to cut. Stick some dimensionals to pop it up. And that is my card. I'm just going to stick that. I stuck it in the middle with my previous one. I'm going to see if I can find a ribbon somewhere just to cover that because it, it's perfect other than that and the little bit there. Oh, my silly fault. Now let me show you something that I've done with my Stamparatus just in case you are one of the lovely people who's ordered one for me and if you are thank you very much you will be getting a card <laughs> and a present from the present box so what i've done where's my stamparatus bag i had it two seconds ago there it is i have a plate here that i've already made up and it's got stays on all over it just ignore it. it's a messy plate and i have used the fantastic make a difference stamp set if you haven't got it and you make lots of cards like craft fairs or anything like that where you sell your cards, this is amazing because I love this hashtag make a card. It's got the copyright of Stampin' Up, which you need. If you sell Stampin' Up cards, you need to have the copyright on. But it's also got the www dot and the dot com. So that's so easy for the back of my cards. So what I do is this is permanently laid up. These have been stuck on here for months. And I just use this plate for my copyrights so I'll pop it on I've roughly estimated where I've put it now it's about a centimeter off this end or a quarter of an inch I pop my magnet there oh I move my leg and that moved the card ink that up pop it over and drop it So that's the back of my cards. How simple is that? And that is just saved on a Stamparatus plate. And now you can buy extra Stamparatus plates. It is so much easier. So slim. 
and stylish.com and then my name, Halsey. And that's on the back of my cards now. And that is, it takes seconds, doesn't it? But if you were someone who was doing a craft fair or you were a card maker or anything like that, um, and you were selling your cards or giving them and you wanted people to know who'd made them, well, that's just simple, isn't it? Now, I'm just wondering if that will cover that mess. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it will? It's see-through, but I don't want to put coloured ribbon on it because I don't want to detract from the bright colours in the card because I've already put bright colours in the card. Oh, it's so confusing. No, it looks messy. Does it look messy? I know what I have got. I've got new ribbon. So that's lovely lipstick, and I've also got this thick, lovely lipstick as well. Let's have a quick, quick butchers. I could have done this after the video, but I want you to see how I'm going to tidy my mess up because I don't want you to think that I would leave a card looking messy because it would annoy me. Can you imagine how everybody else feels about me with my my OCD stuff? The guys at work, every summer, we organise a hospitality tent. And um, I sit there and I'm like, no, the mat's not straight on that table. That's not straight on that table. And I think it makes me slightly unpopular. So, uh, but, you know, if you're going to do something, you have to do it right. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It covers the mess, people. Look at that. I'm going to mess it up even more now because I haven't got my glue dots handy and I should be using glue dots for ribbon. But there we go. Thanks. Oh, I like it with the bow. I like it with the bow. I might put a bow on that one. What do you think? Let me know. Anyway, there we go. Using Stamparatus as a wreath. And thank you for everyone who's bought with me. And if you haven't bought yet but would like to be included in the promotion, head on over to my page, www.slimandstylish.com. Have a look at the terms of it and place an order and a present will be with you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye.